the pâte sucrée, you know, or the sweet dough, is almost like a cookie dough. It's done with butter, one egg yolk, flour, and so forth. And it goes very well in the food processor. But I wanted to show you how to make it by hand, or the technique there. So I have the stick of butter. I have two tablespoons of uh, powdered sugar here, a dash of salt. I'm going to start breaking this into pieces. And sometimes there is practically no liquid added to it. And that's why the dough is going to be tender. That's why the dough can be made thick. And even if it's thick, the heat goes through because the dough is porous. And because the dough is porous, then it's like a thick cookie. I'm going to add oh, maybe one tablespoon, maybe not even of water or milk. And then an egg yolk in there. Again, working the dough. This way, I mean the technique, proper technique for that is to bring the dough together and to crush it with the palm of your hand. In a technique we call phrase, you crush it so it totally homogenized together, which of course is exactly the opposite of what you would want to do with a pot brisé or certainly a puff paste. This is a bit of a messy dough. You can add a little bit of flour and clean your finger with the flour. Okay. Then we're going to roll it like for a round tart. I can practically extend it with my hand, you see. The rich dough. And you don't do it as thin as you would do a pâte brisée, you know? Very delicate. Mm -hmm. About a circle like this. Again, the same idea. You unroll it. And now, you bring the side on itself to make to make a shell. I turn it on itself like twice. And again, the type of thing that you could not do, you would not want to do with, as I say, a pie dough, because the thickness of dough will get raw in the center and will not really work. But the pâte sucré will be like a cookie. You want to press it together to make an edge. And the way you want to press it, you want to have it like a, like a pyramid, you know, so that the top is pointed and the base is thicker, so that it doesn't collapse on itself. And then to finish it up, you can press it this way with your index finger. And you can cook this like a large cookie and then fill it up with raspberry, for example, a bit of raspberry preserve in the bottom, fresh raspberry, a glaze on top. And that's a wonderful tart. And that keep a long time, several day cook like a cookie. That delicious dough.